Everyone who owns a car knows they need to maintain it. This is no different from a local government with a fleet of perhaps 500 vehicles. Uh, those vehicles can have preventative maintenance plans set up against them that might be triggered off of time, uh, you know, three months or something like that, uh, usage every 3,000 miles, or a combination of the two. Let's spend a minute in OMS to see how the OMS fleet functionality can help you accomplish that goal and set up those plans. I'm going to turn over to the software now, and we're going to take a look at the preventative maintenance area. So right now I've got a few plans for equipment already set up for dump trucks. I'm going to crack open two of them, the preventative maintenance plan B and the preventative maintenance plan C here. And you'll notice that each one of them has a trigger set up for it. The first one, the B scenario, has a usage-based trigger where every 8,500 miles since the last time one of these has been completed, we should fire another task off in the system. The plan C one has a different trigger based off of time where I've got uh, every year since the last time one of these has been done, I'm going to perform another one of these. I'm going to collapse these up and we're going to head over to our model equipment record which is a dump truck and when we do that we'll take a look at a couple of things and then we'll come back and actually create a scenario or a plan where we combine both usage and time and whoever wins in that scenario whether it's usage in terms of I hit 3,000 miles before I hit three months or vice versa is the thing that's going to trigger off the, the task in the software. So I'm going to switch over to my equipment record here. And you'll notice that I've got a couple of tasks. I've got two projected tasks already in the software, one for plan B and plan C, based off of the plans that I showed a minute ago. And if I uh, turn on my completed plans here, just a second so you can see what the difference was. Uh, scroll up here. If I scroll down to the bottom of this, you'll notice that I've got <clears throat> a completed plan B already. Uh, back in uh, 2013, and that was the one that was based off of usage. And so right now we've calculated that the usage should fire off another task in uh, 827 of this year, so a couple months away. Um, the plan C, I have a projected plan or projected plan as well, which is based off of time. And in this instance, you'll notice that the completion of the last plan C task was 6-6 and you can see of 2013, and we said one year away, so 6-6 of 2014, we should get the next task. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna close this up to give us a little more space. You don't normally look at all the completed tasks. We're gonna go back to the preventative maintenance area, and we're gonna create a plan based off of usage and time and see what happens here. So I've already got the shell of a preventative maintenance plan started, PMA. I'm gonna go to my activities and add an activity of PMA. Um, and you'll notice that that pops in here. I'm going to go down to my triggers and I'm going to add both a time and a usage based trigger and we're going to combine them. So I'm going to select time here and I'm going to say every, this is maybe let's say your typical oil change in this scenario. So I'm going to say every three months, pops in there. I'm going to come over here and activate this uh, for as of today. I think today is 16th. And go ahead and commit that guy. Excuse me, I'm going to add another trigger, a second trigger, this time usage, and we're going to say that every 3,000 miles um, since the last time I've completed an activity, we should fire off a task. And again, in this scenario, whoever wins is going to get the task generated for it. So it doesn't matter if I hit 3,000 miles or I hit three months first, I'm going to get a task based on whichever one is completed first. Collapse this guy up and activate it, Then we'll head back over here to our equipment record. And you'll notice now that I have a projected task of uh, 419. So let's see who won. In this scenario, if I go back to my completed tasks once again, and I uh, look at the last completed task for PMA, you'll notice that, if I get it scrolled up right here, that I had one completed as of 125. So if it was three months, I should have had 425. Our scenario, we got 419, which means, in this case, the usage-based trigger won. So, in other words, the, uh, the amount of miles that we calculate out to get to uh, 3,000 miles since the last time it was completed would, uh, would, would is estimated to be on 419 of this month, just a couple of days away. That sort of concludes our little wrap-up on uh, combining usage and time-based triggers in the software for preventative maintenance for fleet.